Hi, my name is Richard with Accenter, and today I will show you how to maintain a marble floor using the EDS pads. Uh, EDS stands for Accenter Diamond System. The pads for the Accenter 5535 contain of seven steps, but today I will just show you three of those, a three-step maintenance job. We have a Belgian blue stone here, which is, which is a natural stone which contains lime or calcium. Um, to make sure your, your stone is containing lime or calcium, please do an acid test before you uh, start. If you haven't done this test before, please check our other video on the acid test on how to do this. Let's say your uh, Belgian bluestone or your marble floor after a year of uh, uh, traffic of people walking over it is a little bit uh, dull, has a little bit less shine than it uh, should have. You don't want to completely restore the floor, but you just want to do some, some uh, restoration, light renovation of the surface. We have three uh, steps for that, a grid 800, which is a step one, a grid 1500 pad, which is step two, and to polish it off, you have a grid 3000. So what you're doing with the first is you're grinding the surface open, you're removing the scratches or making it even again. With the second step, 1500, you're closing the surface so that it's not so spiky anymore, but it's starting to become a smooth surface. And with the last step, you are polishing the floor, so creating those, uh, that nice shine again. I'm going to start with the step one, grid 800 EDS pad. Uh, when using these pads, we always use fresh water, just clean tap water, cold water, and apply it to the floor. This makes sure your pad stays clean while you're working, and also it keeps the pad and the floor cool. With every pad, we pass the stone four times. So if you have the space, which here I don't, but if you have the space, try to go once from north to south and back, and once from east to west and back. So up, down, left, right, four times altogether. Now it's time to wet vac the floor, so make sure it's dry and clean before you go to the next step. I've just attached the grid 1500 or the step two in the three step process uh, to the Accenture 5535. I've cleaned the floor with the wet vac and I've reapplied fresh water to the, to the surface. So now we have a clean floor to do the next step. We just finished step two in a three-step maintenance uh, job. Even after the second step, you can already see it's nice and uh, smooth and already is getting a little bit of gloss or shine to the surface. I've now attached the grid 3000 pad, the step three in the three-step process to do the final polishing. Um, you may have seen we're using two sets of weight or four sets of weight in total on this machine. If you're using the pre-2019 uh, model, it's four sets. Uh, but with this case, we need the pressure in order to grind and polish the stone. So that's it, step three in a three-step maintenance project. So step one is a grid 800 pad, four passes, and afterwards remove the water and apply fresh. Step two, Grid 1500, and again, with the water, remove it and apply fresh. And step three, a grid 3000. Again, fresh water uh, and four passes each. After you finish this, then your maintenance every month or every week, uh, depending on how much traffic is passing there, you can use the last step in your maintenance uh, uh, project. You can use the last pet for daily or regular cleaning and keep that floor nice and shiny.